guys, it's Andy here from Sold By Auctions. Welcome to the first of a series of videos that are designed to help you as an agent and your clients get a much better result come auction day. First thing I want to talk about is even before the auction campaign has even started, and that's when you're trying to actually get the clients to go to auction itself. One of the biggest issues that I find when it comes to trying to sell an auction is the assumption of intelligence. Now, what I mean by that is you assume that clients know what they are talking about and what you're talking about when it comes to the auction process. There's three key frequently asked questions that I provide to all my all the answers to to all my clients both visually, auditory, and kinesthetically by actually taking them through the process step by step. First frequently asked question that I always get, and which is what you always wanna clarify right at the start of the process, is can I sell before auction? Now what a lot of clients don't realize is an auction process doesn't just shackle you into selling on the day for a price, um, whether you like it or not. That is the biggest fear that clients generally tend to have is that it forces them to do things that they don't necessarily want to do, which is complete nonsense. An auction process can be the most transparent tra way of transacting a sale for your property. So therefore, you have more control than you would ever have on a private sale. And let me tell you why. When it comes to selling before auction, but one thing that you've really got to look for when, if you do look, consider an offer is the conditions that that offer has. Now, if you're going to sell before an auction, I would strongly advise that you only look at offers that are unconditional. And what that means is, obviously there isn't a subject to finance, subject to building or subject to pest inspection that can potentially cause issues with the contract of sale. From a vendor's point of view, that's great because if you get an unconditional contract of sale, then it's job done. Happy days and you can crack on with plan, with part B of your plan. But from an agent's perspective, it's super, super important that you don't blow a massive hole in your campaign by entertaining offers whether it are subject to finance or anything like that. So problem being, we don't know what the, what the future can hold. We don't know if the buyer is going to lose their job next week. We are in that sort of climate. So you've got to make sure that it is a guilt-edged opportunity that is completely transparent and no conditions whatsoever. Second one, what if I don't sell on the day? Now, agents, you might want to show this to your vendors because, guys, it's not the end of the world. And this is coming from an independent voice. Your agent will be absolutely in control of the process and will be able to give you options moving forward when it comes to selling your home. Now with an auction process, the great thing about it is you get to see buyers in their truest form. You get to see them uh, in, in, the, in the naked light of day and you get to see exactly what they're prepared to pay. Now that is a golden thing to have in this marketplace that is just going up and up and up and up because it means that if you move forward with the private sale after the auction is finished and concluded, you have a much more educated opinion of what the market's prepared to pay for your home and therefore you'll be able to price your property accordingly. Okay, so that is a really good point to make is that if you don't sell and look 81% clearance rate last weekend, there's 19, there's 19 percent of people that didn't get to sell on the day. And don't worry, it's not the end of the world. There are always ways to move forward. Okay, now the last one is do I have to sell if I go to auction? Okay, now this is the most contentious one. An auction campaign for a lot of people makes them feel like they have to sell. They're absolutely bound in and jeepers, what if we don't get the price we want and all that sort of stuff. The big thing that a lot of agents, a lot of you guys as agents tend to forget about covering is the whole point of a reserve, okay? Now it's one good, it's one thing talking about it, a reserve, but it's the relevance of that reserve that your vendors need to be aware of. What that reserve is, is a comfort blanket. That's what I refer it to as a comfort blanket. And what that comfort blanket is, it means that if your auction sails past that reserve, then it means you've won. It means that that reserve price is set at a level that you're happy to sell at. So if you go past that reserve, you're in the bonus round. You've already won the game and therefore you're going to be able to kick on and buy the holiday, buy the car with the extras that you make on top, which is fantastic. Now, if the auction doesn't make reserve, and like I said, 19% of auctions didn't make it last weekend in Victoria, according to the REIV, 
don't stress. At the end of the day, if you don't reach your reserve, you can do one of a couple of things. On the day, you can look at altering your reserve to maximize that pressure scenario on the buyer side of things. But if you don't want to, if that reserve is where you want it to be and that's the minimum that you want to take, which is absolutely fine at the end of the day, it's your property, um, then again, you're, you're, you're absolutely covered. It won't sell and you will go to private sale and your agent will work extremely hard to get to your reserve point or to get to a place where you are happy to sell, okay? So that's the thing, guys. You don't have to fear this auction process in any way, shape or form. And agents, please make clients aware of this, especially in marketplaces where auctions are relatively new, like in the outer southern east, in suburbs of Victoria, or in areas uh, you know, that aren't in a city. This is where you guys need to be on top of the education side of things with your clients, okay? So feel free to show them this video because it's an independent voice. All I'm going to be is the mouthpiece for your auction process and I'll be the one there busting my chops to make sure that you get the most on the day. Guys, I hope that was really helpful. Like I said, this is this first in a series of videos. So if you have any feedback for me, any comments, please, please, please leave them. Feel free to leave as many comments as you like. If you found it useful, tell me and it'll make sure and we'll make sure that we keep this going on a consistent basis. Thanks guys. Have yourselves a great weekend and happy selling. Thanks for tuning in. For more information, visit our website or follow us on Facebook.